Hey everyone, in this video, originally I was going to talk about just lures and flies for fishing, just in case you couldn't find no bait anywhere or nothing, you can just fly fish, but I'm also going to talk about hooks. So first we want to start off with hooks. Anything that pretty much is solid and can be in the shape of a J can be a hook. Whether it be a bone or two sticks tied together. Excuse me. And this one, right here, you see, I have a little primitive hook right here I made out of a toothpick and some string. Get closer so you can see. That's a way of taking two sticks, which in this case is the uh, toothpick, and taking some kind of lashing, whether it be string or something, and tying it together, they form the shape of a hook, and this is what you get. And another one is... a lot of people don't think about yeah don't think about this one which I don't, don't understand why is a bottle cap all I did is take the yeah let's take the tab off the yeah off a coke can all I did is just cut it out the shape of a J got the little eye there for the string fishing line to go through and this is the important part when you make the end of the hook they cut it in a 45 degree angle to get that point that you need. And this, you can turn this into a fly, you put, or you can put um, bait on the end of this. And this will also work great, even though it's lightweight. Your bait will weight it down. Or if you have rocks or split shot, or it's known as sinkers, you can put the top of this. It also will lay, yeah, weigh this down. I don't know why not a lot of people think about a bottle cap being turned into a hook. But that's why I wanted to show you that. So pretty much anything that's in the shape of a J can be a hook and solid. Like it was, if it's either one solid piece of bone or if it's tying two sticks together. But that's pretty much it. This is about fast and easy and simple hooks that you don't spend a lot of time on. And the same thing whenever I get to the lure, yeah, the um, flies and the lures. It's fast and easy. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. The, so I'm not making this for a lure that takes probably 12 hours, or I don't know what lure takes 12 hours. Or where it takes two to five hours that's just not me my experience fishing I want something that's fast and easy to make that I can just mark up in seconds and send out there to catch a fish so these are the two hooks I made just a couple minutes ago before I started the video each of them took me probably less than a minute to make but if you make, but if you make the um, ball cap, yeah, the ball tab, yeah, the coat can tab, or any tab off a can, the, yeah, for yeah, make it into a hook. You gotta watch, cause when you when you first take a tab off, the good thing is to take a pair of pliers and just flatten everything down before you even start cutting, so that you don't cut yourself trying to make it. And once you have the cut to where you need it you can also take the pliers and also bend it down more so that all of this is flat you're not cutting yourself you don't want to make something that harms your yeah that harms you that's just not the way yeah it's just not the way to go you don't want to put you don't want to put no more yourself in any more harm than you already are so just cut it out in the shape of a J. 
the end of it, you can just probably just cut slits into it and take a pair of pliers, and just smash that down to where it's almost looks like one solid piece. Cut the end of it into a 45 degree angle. It'll give you that point that you need. Put your bait on or and to get the fish hooked in there whenever it goes to swallow the hook and the bait. And this is the same way. The, the toothpick, all I did was cut the end of it. Yeah, I cut it in half. Cut the top of it off so that there wasn't a point there. You can easily get the um, line around there. Got the point sticking out there. Lashed it with string. Put, you can also turn this into a fly if you want to. Or put a bit on the vet. Or you can make multiple of these and make a trout line. A uh, trout line. Which is one single line with multiple hooks on it. And you can also you can spread that you know, across the river or a lake if you can. And say so, yeah, mainly fish or shrimp, yeah, who come upstream, who grab onto that, or fish coming downstream, either or. Now it worked great. Now that's it for the uh, hooks. See, they're just fast, easy, and simple. I don't have to spend a lot of time describing how to make them. I don't have to spend a lot of time showing how to make them. So pretty much any solid piece or two sticks tied together in the shape of a J can make it, yeah, make a good hook. Especially the um, tab off a Pepsi or Coke can. Cut that into the shape of a J. That will work. That also will work great, but it won't. It's really light because it's aluminum, so you have to do something to weigh it down, which the uh, bait might do, or your sinker will, which can, you can also make out of a small rock. I have plenty of rocks here I can show you, like something like that. That can make a good split shot and good sinker. Just tie that into the line. So now. Get on to yeah the lures or the flies as I like to call them. This one I made from bird yeah bird feather. Get a closer look so you can see. All I did was cut the vein. Yeah, I was cut the feather off the vein of the bird feather and got. <sighs> As much as I needed, got them all lined up nice and tied them together at the top. It only took me a couple seconds to do. Probably was less, this also took me less than a minute. I'm gonna just say that. So I'm not exer yeah, exactly sure how many seconds it took me to do. I just know it was under a minute, so I can't exactly say. And that also worked great for a fly. A fish would think that's a bug. And it'll be on there and listening. I'm not sure exactly sure how long it'll be there. Just depends on your skills as a fisherman and how good you are at fly fishing. Me personally, I do not like to fly fish at all. I like to use bait, but in a survival situation, bait may not be available to you, even though you can find night crawlers or worms practically anywhere but it's not always easy to find bait not always easy so fly fishing may be your only available source to catch fish or any kind of food that's why in some areas people do not go out into the woods Camping. This is this is also this is further north. A lot of people do not go out into the woods camping or do anything without a uh, fly rod because fly fishing is very popular in the wilderness and survival situations. 
So that's a, a key point to uh, remember. So moving on, another you know, lure that I made is out of pair, a piece of paracord. And this is it. that in there. All I did was take the bottom of the uh, paracord out, stuck as yeah, as far as I needed it, rough, ruffled it out, I stuck the hook as far up as it goes, I cut right at the top of the eye, then I took a lighter, melted it down to where I can get that around the eye of the hook, and that is also a fast, simple, and easy yeah fly or lure to make if you have paracord on you if but if you're like me which a lot of survivalists or an outdoors doorsman do they wear yeah paracord yeah paracord bracelets me I don't buy them I make them myself I buy the paracord itself and I, and I make my own bracelets. This one has probably can't really I don't really remember a couple yards of uh, five yeah braided 15 pound fishing line with two hooks wrapped up in electrical tape inside here. So wherever I go. I have hooks, and I have fishing line, and I have paracord. No matter where I go, if I get lost and I don't have these, I have hooks, I have line, and I have paracord. And paracord, the guts of it can also be used as emergency fishing line if you need it. I think you're only going to need one strand. There's about uh, probably seven, eight strands of paracord inside here, inside one piece. But if you're fishing, I think you're only gonna need one strand. But if you want to, you can double it. Yeah, you can double it up. It's your preference. But I'm just saying you're only gonna need one because you're really not fishing for something really huge. You're only getting something small and a couple of small fish that can make a meal. But if you do get a big fish, that's also great. That is wonderful. But normally, what would you yeah, what would you catch? It's probably a couple sunfish or a couple bluegill, maybe even a couple catfish. Who knows? It depends on where you're at and what's in that lake or what's in that river. And also, what could be good as a fast fly yeah, make as a flat yeah, fast fly or lure is deer fur, animal fur from, pretty much fur from any type of animal that has fur. Squirrel, rabbit, chipmunk, deer, your own dog at home. I know how much dogs like to shed. I know that from having dogs practically my entire life. I know that certain dogs love to shed. So... If you gather up all the fur and tie it together for, uh, on a hook, that can also be good as a fast fly. But I want to use it as a fire starter though. That just stinks. I wouldn't go there again. But yeah, those are fast, easy, and simple lures to put together. Fur from any type of animal, feathers from a bird, a piece of paracord like I just showed you right here gotta unravel each individual cord because it because it, um, it's uh, tied together in that side there to make to make a single strand strong so you have to unravel that and fluff that out like I did and that only takes less than a minute to do that doesn't take very long and bright colors are good too like this lime green yeah green I have that will work yeah yeah that will work great orange will work great 
and you can catch a lot of fish on that. I haven't tested these lures out yet because I just made them. The um, two lures that I made, I made those last night, and just a couple minutes ago, I made those hooks. So I just wanted, so I wanted to make something for this video to show you. Instead of just telling you what I'm talking about, I can show you myself that I made myself, and they don't take very long at all. So you don't have to spend a lot of calories or a lot of time doing it. But another good way of getting fish, which I did not make, which I sh probably should have before I did this video, but I didn't, is a fish trap which is you have to make it in shallow water against a rock or maybe even against the yeah, against a bank so fish don't get out it's pretty much a huge fence so fish can come in and get their bait but they can't get back out I wish I could have built one so I can show you instead of telling you I can also show you what I'm, talk yeah, what I'm talking about, but I didn't make one. Maybe in a yeah, future video I will make one. So I can show you instead of just telling you. But those yeah, fish traps also work great. You can set it up. Throw your bait in there. You can leave. Go do what you need to do. Whether it's building up your shelter, getting wood for your fire, or getting water to boil. And so you can have drinking water or you can make stew whatever made it yeah whatever the cause may be those work great they work for you instead of you working for it so you can go and do other things because in a survival situation you have more than one thing you need to do so but if you have the time instead of throwing a line out there and leaving it you can all you sit out there with the yeah with the lure, jigging it or tugging it, and making it look like it's an insect, so that the fish can come up and get it. Well, so that's all the time I'm going to spend on this video, because there's not really no need to make yeah for this video to drag on for a long time. If this is on simple, easy, fast lures and hooks that anyone can make, even my little cousins can make. There's no, yeah, there's no need to drag them on. So, I'm only going to recap one more time. Feathers off a bird, just get as many as you need. Get something to lash it with tie at the top boom that's ready to go same thing with a piece of paracord get a couple inches of paracord take this out a couple inches stick your hook up through there melt it down to where it's over top of the eye so that it can't go over top of the eye so it won't slip out ruffle this up make it all bushy that's ready to go Same thing with hooks. Two sticks, or in this case, I use toothpick. Make shape of yeah, make the shape of a J. Lash them together with string or whatever you have. Maybe even a little piece of paracord. And boom, that's ready to go. And with the tab off a can, cut it out, save a J. Make your eye so your Fishing line can go through, cut a four or five degree angle, get that yeah, sharp point, and that's ready to go. You can also turn that into a fly, or just put your bait on and your split shot, and you're good to go. So, if you really if you need me to go more in depth, just leave your comments down below, or if you have any suggestions for a future video, leave your comments below. I'm always open to suggestions and it really helps me out so 
I know what you yeah what you want to see instead of just putting stuff together for you to see and for me to show you and teach you you can choose what you want yeah what you want me to sh yeah teach you so if I don't get no suggestions I'll just throw something together something that I think will be informative and important for you my viewers to learn so again my, pur my uh, the purposes of these videos is not for me to get YouTube famous or anything it's so that I can teach you how you can survive in survival situations with limited supplies and how to how do I say this be creative in a survival situation and use what nature gives you or what you have on you so just pay attention to the disclaimer at the beginning of my videos and I'll explain a lot of what you should not do so this was fast easy and simple hooks and lures that anyone can make and so leave your life yeah like this video if you like what you saw comment subscribe become a survivor today and until next video this is lieutenant grim and i will see you in the next one bye